Hello and welcome to part two of today's video. Um, if you've not watched the first part, we've got lots of forager action, um, a little old John Deere, which was um, really nice. I got to have a little drive of it. Um, Mr. John Deere, Mick, uh, his, his tractor, he'd been out to a show in it and was calling back to his fields that we're in now, just getting them finished off. In fact, I need to get behind that trailer, so stay tuned. It's gonna be action packed. There it is, the mighty 130 and the Crone 620, I think it is. And if you like stuff like this, tractors, forage harvesters, cattle, everything farming, then please remember to press that like button when you watch these videos because it really does throw it out to other people um, so we can get the message that farming's a great industry to work in out to as many people as possible. So yeah, press the like button, subscribe if you've not already. Thanks guys. I got Mickey in tractor with me now. No seat. He's had no. the, the uncomfortable ride. Yeah. Yeah, but we've just been saying it's there's no grass or weeds in this, is there now? No, it's worked a treat. Perfect. Nice break crop. Yeah. Get your yeah, what you're putting in here, wheat? Winter wheat. Winter wheat. Yeah. And it had a decent crop last year, didn't it? Yeah. That's what we had. Yeah. So, that what that we, we put maize in last year. Yeah, it was a decent crop. Yeah, it's decent done crop. All right. come, yeah. After come after it, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Farmers yeah. helping farmers. Doing, dif other. doing different jobs, but helping each other out. <laughs> right, we're back in the yard now. We need to get some water in this uh, in this forager. So we've got more bugs in it. Just filling up with water again. Andy's on rolling the pit with a TM. We ain't got a bug break for it, so we're just rolling it with the tyres. Ash, keeping busy. Wind's picking up on that sheet, isn't it, now? So, are you getting cold, Edward? It's really windy up here. Are you? Yeah. You want to grow a beard like Mark? <laughs> What's that? Wind? It's windmills, isn't it? Oh, has he got windmills at home? Yes. Hey, bummy, innit? Mr. Eco, is he? <laughs> Mr. Eco friendly. Em's doing all the working out now. She's been doing the weights. She's got a cool sunglasses on today. Look at them. Do you want to know how much you've got in that trailer? Look at them. Three Mick Joward loves them. On. Reflection on. Can't see where his eyes are. Yeah, I'll be knackered in a bit, so mine. Are they yours? Oh well. No wonder then. Yes, yes, Sasha's sunbathing glasses. It's a bit sunny yesterday, wasn't it? So yeah, Em's working it all out for us. A, can a calculator's nearly run out of battery. Oh, that's the thing, Em. People were asking what your TikTok is. What's your TikTok? At apprentice.m, isn't it? On TikTok. Yeah. And Ash is at Ash. Oh no. On TikTok. They're on my friend list anyway, or followers list or whatever it is. So while we're parked up, just having our coffees. Oh, we're looking under here and it's got like a wishbone suspension. And Mark was just saying, on this one, it's all powered by hydraulic motors to each wheel. So when he's cutting grass, it causes less damage to grass, is that right? Yeah, it, uh, it allows the outside wheel to spin a lot faster. So it don't rip inside wheel up. And you can so, spin it around a bit yeah, quicker. customers prefer it that you don't rip the ground to stress. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any problems with hydraulic motors yet though? No. I, no, don't, I, don't, wood. I don't want any because they're about 10 grand each. <laughs> That's nice, 40 grand, new yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> we'll have one every year. Yeah. <laughs> so as we're travelling at the side, all you can see is this going up and down, up and down, up and down. That's the feed rollers. M3 rollers pulling it into the chopper, which is where it says here, wear gloves, because it's sharp. And then there's an accelerator in there that throws it up. So then down here in the bottom here, we've got the corn cracker. Do you have to put that in and out then if you've got grass or not? Yeah. There's a grass shoot what goes in. So when you're doing grass, you take it out. 
and then it all goes up, all that, the width goes up into this auger and fires it out of the top. So yeah, uh, Mark was saying there's like, similar to like a water wheel in the bottom is what's accelerating it up to shoot it up and out the spout. But I'm just saying it's like a big straw blower. Yeah, <laughs> very similar. So um, if, if we ever got one of these, then we could get Andy and have like a little thing up front and blow it straw. How far does it blow it actually? It will be about 50, yeah. You can get a fair way away from the trailer, can't you? The heavier it crops, the more it gets, the more weight you've got to carry it. Oh, the more it can throw yeah. it, sort of thing. So if it's got, if it's very heavy stuff, you'd probably throw it from here to your pickup over there, about 60 foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got some throw on it. And it's all hydraulically powered then, I'm guessing. Uh, or is the, it? The chopping cylinder and all this lot is all belt driven off an engine. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, the wheels and the header, uh, the feed rollers, that's all hydraulics. hydraulics. Yeah, must have a fair pump on it then. Oh, it does, that, that'll be expensive and all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Everything's expensive, isn't yeah, it, it sounds? Is, yeah. <laughs> that's the power plant at the back. How many horsepower is it then, Mark? Uh, six, two, six on the paper, I think. Six, six two, six. Jeez. Has it got a big turbo? <laughs> yeah, it's a beast. Are these bumpers for if I end up crashing into you? Yeah. <laughs> it just so it damages you before me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start greasing it. <laughs> We're just looking at his massive fan in here. Massive radiator. Yeah. Where's that reversing fan then? It's the, the, the yeah, it don't come to have one. There's like a deflector fan they call it in here. Oh right. So that's spinning round all the time keeping that clean, isn't yeah. it? That's it's round. Round. When it rains. It's not even greasy though. Big fan there. Oh yeah, lobe, isn't it? Yeah, he's just been filling that up with uh, with grease. Right, it's all go, 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 everything's back on. The tea's been sucked. Everything's getting back started, but me and Ash, not me and Ash, me and Andy, I've got something a bit special to do now. Or Andy's got something a bit special to do. Jeez, I've got Andy to write these names out, but woo, look at that. So I'm gonna pass you over to, um, well, this new person that's gonna do it. It's Mixer Mentions. Hello. Hello. Ah! Do you recognise you there, Andy? I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that's gave. It's been really, really generous. We're at uh, £690, which is amazing. It's far more than we actually thought was ever going <laughs> to happen. Ever going to happen, didn't we? <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> right, Andy, fire yeah, away yeah. as quick as you can. Big shout out. So, Boris, Sam, Sam Zeal, Lord Peter Cook, Rick Henderson, Kev, Paul Wilkinson, Ian, Jen Sharp, Craig and Steph, John Oliver, Joanna Q, Charles Keats, Michael Tyler, uh, what's that Flo, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Noel McGrath, Natalie Cheatham, Andrew, Stu, Pat Sweeney, Chris Kinge, Jamie Ward, Flash Ash, our one and only. Our one and only Flash Ash. Jonathan Sawfleet, Helen and Roger Parry, uh, Cadence Construction, Anonymous, Tegan Blake, Ian Steely, and John Atkinson. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. <laughs> Anybody else that wants to give, you know, we've got we one more day, races tomorrow. What time? It's about nine, half nine, I'm racing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Andy's going to get up at... About seven, <laughs> six, I don't know, whenever. Uh, we're like milk him, isn't it? It'll be nice because we're going to sheet up tonight with all the tires and stuff so you know we're not going to tire him out no, doing that are we no. and then you're going to have to do your big room yeah it'll be fine and, and what 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 practice have you done for this under um well it's just been resting really yeah <laughs> i want a little like snippet for tomorrow's video okay. of like hi i'm andy i've started the run and then like at the end i want uh, you know like when you're finished like, you, might, you might have already posted it by that time. <laughs> <laughs> so no, thanks everyone. So you've Thank helped you support the Children's Hospital Charity business, 690 right. quid. Thank you. And all he's got to do now is finish the race to get it. Pressure's on. Oh, fine.
<laughs> right, let's get some work done. So we're going to the field now. We got Ash up here. We got Andy cleaning his windows, which is what I might be doing in a second. Get some of this uh, this juice off the windows. Yeah, and we got Ash up here on the two ten. Hanging about, we're going to have a little word, I think. This is what tractor drivers do, you see, when we want to uh, talk to each other. You can't get off your seat, you just got to talk like this, haven't you? Business. Save diesel, that's it. Living the dream. Ash is off now. Just rung me to say that the air ambulance is in the field at the side of us, so we'll, we'll just check that out. Here it is. So, um, this is what we're raising money for usually, although this time Andy um, is raising it for the children's charity. But we're usually raising money for the air ambulance, and it's landed in our area, which is well i don't know if it's great or not so i think i don't think it's for any reason yeah it looks like people are having their photos took with it so whether they're attending a emergency or whether they've um landed because people have been raising money around here i don't know maybe if somebody knows why they've landed today let us know in the comments below but for us as farmers it's just an essential service um, if anything was to happen to us. I mean, right now we are quite close to the houses and quite close to roads, but it's not always the case. So that's why we like to um, donate towards it. Um, it also helps loads of people in rural locations. And um, yeah, just, it's all charity funded. No government grants or subsidies. It's all just through charity funding. So um, yeah, if people want to donate to that, then there's a link in uh, the description below. Business. Ash has got a full load on now on the 210. Go on, boy. Andy's on now, and then it's me up next. So I don't know if you can see where that where that pink thing is and all these like died off leaves. So a car's just been going round and round um, down here. We've also got um, what looks like a uh, child seat there. Um, so yeah, it looks like they've been coming in and going round and round in his maze. So not only has it been a, a terrible crop, but uh, it's also just been run down for for no apparent reason, which is uh, which is great. Joys of farming in South Yorkshire. My brother's just turned up um, at the field, which tells me that we've got one trailer too many on at the minute. So when I get back, I may well drop this off and start rolling the pit. Well, I've just spent a decent amount of time cleaning my front window. That was a waste of time. Oh, here we are at the side of the header. This is where it's actually um, a bit better crop here, believe it or not. Just feeding it in nice. Mark's directing it into the trailer. Making a tidy job. Back at the farm now, so I'm gonna tip this off. Em's just weighed me in, and then I'm gonna drop this trailer off and roll the pit with Chris. Em's getting so warm now. So Em's just filling the corners in because he can't quite get it into the corners. But Em can. Business. So there Em goes, shoveling away, bless her. She's not stopped. I'll give her that. While Chris pushes it up with the fence 720, 720. He's trying a big push, too big a push. There we go. Taking a big heap up there. 
up to um, not quite as far as that. And then I'm just going up and down and, uh, and rolling what he's pushing up. What I will say is it's very impressive what tractors will climb. I'm not sure if you get a, um, a sense of how steep it is from the camera angle, but you almost feel like the wheels are going to come off the off the ground and go over the back. So Chris is just pushing it up now. Trying for a big push now. <laughs> He's got a smile on his face. I think he might have just bit off a little bit too much. Will it do it? She's gripping. Oh! Just not enough. Oh, disappointment. The look of disappointment on his face. M says speed and power. Got it, he's got it. Two hundred horsepower just pushing that up. It was struggling a bit, weren't it? <laughs> M's got her fent cup. <laughs> Chandler sent us that one, didn't they? Nice. We had to did that from yesterday. What, cover during maze? Oh, she is. <laughs> ah! Oh, she is. <laughs> that was actually quite close. Right, I better get rolling. So I'm at the top of the pit here. Ben's just fetching in one of the Last loads, Andy has just dropped the 75 off. And it looks like my sister in law's here to help us sheet up. Hey, I mean, we're going to have that many people, it's going to be great. Now Andy's going to give us a hand, we're going to have three tractors rolling the pit. It'll be like them big American farms, that's when we've not got an eight something or other John Deere. With a massive blade on the front. Edward's got front window open now, he needed to talk to me. <laughs> the last load of the season here. It's getting tipped off. And we're done. Well, we're not done because we need to get this all sheeted, but huh, that'll be a job in itself. Well, it's already a disappointing amount. I know that before Emmy even gives me any results on the total weights. Um, usually we have bales out here and um, the pit is really heaped up. Like it's as though we're at the top of the top of the barn and it's a level pit that's about full. So I think this, this year has been a waste of time for growing maize. It'll have blown money. Um, yeah. But that's, that's farming, that's how it goes, you, it's all a gamble. If we'd have grown barley or something like that, maybe we'd have been laughing, but no. Um, we've grown maize because it's been good for the last however many years, and um, yeah, just this time it's not. It's how it goes, folks, it's how it goes. Andy's there, he gets closer to the wall than I do, I tell you that. He has got a lot of experience with it, so. And look, Bee's here! Hi, Bee! Actually, I was wrong. Ash, Flash Ash is the last load of, uh, of the day on the 210. I'm guessing there's not a lot in. 
I'm gonna jump on the nine meter and then we can push up a little bit further with it. Andy's still up there, look. So now what I've been doing is just pushing the clamp up with the grain pusher. I've never really seen this done before, but uh, I thought I'd try it. It does seem to be working, but I don't know how these guys are gonna get down when I've finished. Might just have to leave them a ramp down the middle to get out on. That is is very steep that Chris is going down there, let me tell you now. Very, very steep. I didn't think it'd make it down there, you know? It has done though. Chris has just come down a little bit too far, I think. No, it's not making it. Oh well. That might be where we're at then. Well, Andy's made a tidy job up here. Rolling it down. He's, only problem is he's got to get it down. It could be an X Factor audition. Yeah, cows. <laughs> Where Andy's driving, it's just sponging. It's going down all the time, all the time is rolling, it's going down, pushing the air out, making it better. <laughs> so the sun's setting we're getting the cling film layer on hang on em you're going too far there that's in isn't it not right we have found some wind it's getting dark now in it ash it's not bad is it You got it? Just getting stuck on top of it. There we go, look. We got it, we got it. That's a stick. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> are you all right? Hey? Are you mentally all right? I'm covered in <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Right, we're gonna get the easy sheet on. If you can tell from the grainy footage, it's getting dark here. What's that? Go. What? Go. You're wrong way around. Go. You're wrong way around, you idiots. Can you not spell? Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> really funny. <laughs> it's really important that we get this um, sheeted up and sealed. All the tyres put on. That's what I'm putting on now. These were actually the tyres off this um, JCV. Um, to weight it down so there's no air in there and you can start the fermenting, ferment, fermenting process straight away rather than just rotting. We don't want it to rot. So that's why you need to do it as soon as possible. Like I was even considering um, last night sheeting it up overnight so that um, we locked it in a bit more but we're getting late. But it's getting late now, but we're, we're gonna have to get it done. So that's what we're on with. Not so bad with the nine meter though, we can just boom them out and um, plonk them down with these bigger tires. And we've not got many car tires or anything like that. It's just what we've got off the tractors. But I'm putting up there. Well, I've been going absolutely mental flying up and down, putting um, tires on. It seems everybody's gone home. 
Dad sent everyone home, apart from Ash. Ash is still here. Is that it? That's it. Em and Andy and everyone's gone. It's been a long day though, so. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put a few bales along, you can't even see because it's that dark, along the bottom of the pit. And tomorrow we will put, I think I've got all the tires on there, but if there is any extra ones that I find, and we'll roll them out into the right places. So you'll have to stay tuned for tomorrow's video to find out about that. Also to find out about Andy's run and Ash will be here. I didn't even know if it was, I was just crossing my fingers that it would be. Mick might be here, maybe. Let me know. I don't know, he might do. He might do. He might roll the pit before his eh? Big Mick. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Sorry it's been a long one, but I hope you have enjoyed it. Press that like button, subscribe if you're not already. Head to joeseals.com if you want a hoodie, because it's getting cold now. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.